It's been just a few days since Solange exposed Jay-Z for being a handler and blackballing his operations in the industry, and it looks like she won't be letting up anytime soon. It looks like Solange is sticking her foot firmly on his neck. At this point, we have to wonder why she had it out for him. Solange is not here to play with Jay-Z instead. She is exposing him for allegedly cheating on Beyonce 12 times, not once, not twice, but 12 times. Mr. Sean Carter was a big pimp, spinning cheese and slanging that thing all over Hollywood. The truth is being revealed, or should I say, have you said that? But did Jay-Z truly kill one of his mistresses in order to shield Beyonce from him? Either way, it's obvious that he was having an affair, which is why it's so bad. A day that Solange must detest Jay-Z's soul because, although we were aware of this previously, it has become even more evident in recent weeks as a result of Solange's continued efforts to expose Jay-Z. As a result of her recent statements, the situation has gotten even worse. Talks of Jay-Z and Beyonce getting divorced have been heard on the streets, and I think it's safe to say that things aren't getting any better. Solange, for example, has grown weary of Jay's behavior and has been pressuring Beyonce to leave him. Solange has been talking a lot about Jay-Z these past few weeks. It almost seems like she's trying to shame Beyonce into leaving the marriage or something. You might think that she is approaching this the wrong way because of this, but is that really what she wants to do? Leave her husband? While it's somewhat embarrassing, Solange may believe that this is her only opportunity to confront Beyonce. After all, you saw her pull up to Jay-Z in the elevator and put her hands on him after learning that he was having an affair. Another person after the Met Gala OMGL Music G, now Miss Solange isn't here to perform with Jay-Z, and she has never felt to make her disdain apparent in the last few weeks. She has been going to some pretty extreme lengths to ensure that the world is aware of Jay-Z's character and believes that Beyonce will be compelled to divorce him. One of her initial actions was to support singer Maya in disclosing how Jay-Z attempted to have an affair with her and that when she refused, he allegedly humiliated her. In case you missed that tea back in the day, Maya collaborated with Jay-Z on the remix. A producer who worked on the song said that Jay-Z felt disrespected by Maya because he didn't think she was appreciative enough for him to hop on her song. As a result, Jay came to the Hit Factory studio that night and understood it immediately. I'm about to rap on your album you're about to have success and I don't think you truly appreciate it. Jay-Z said this to the producer, seemingly upset with the atmosphere in the room. Maya was treated like a spoiled brat. Reports at the time state that after Jay-Z returned to the studio, Maya was forced to play nice with him since he felt like she wasn't showing him any love. JJ wants to record the album, but he feels like you're not showing him any love. The producers even attempted to spin the story, portraying Maya as the villain for being unappreciative of the feature. But the story did not end there because, in 2014, the notorious Jay-Z and Maya broke up, which is supposedly why Jay-Z became very irate. The Solange elevator incident turned the world upside down. Suddenly, there were rumors that Jay-Z was going out on Beyonce. Guess who was dragged back into the spotlight? Maya. People began calling her Jay-Z's sidekick. Let me tell you, things got even worse when Beyonce released her album Lemonade. Maya had to face her own personal struggles. During the entire ordeal, she was mistakenly identified as Becky, despite her calm demeanor. She was forced to confront the claims made by a fan on Instagram, who asked her to confirm that she and Jay-Z had an 11-year affair. Maya also had an interview with Blad TV, but she also wrote, I play second to no one, pay my own bills, have my own label and management company, rely on God only, and respect myself and marriage too much for nonsense. Will she respond promptly to this criticism? When she disclosed that her career was delayed because she refused to yield to the pressure she faced from a specific industry figure, did you say that this is what made you so guarded within your career? I replied, no, I'm fine, thank you. Thank you, okay. So, sometimes it is your responsibility to stand firm on the things you don't care about to me. It's not that serious. You know, if I have to sell my soul and people find out, then you will be blackballed, talked about, and rumored about. You're okay, you don't need to do anything except protect your spirit, which is the most important aspect of your life because everything else is connected to it. I understand that you may have given up something in the physical world, 
but the spiritual world is not worth it. You know some people who it's difficult to be around people who have such large egos and negative attitudes toward men, women, and other people? What's more, their definition of success may not align with your own. According to Salon, Jay-Z allegedly had an affair with Maya, and Maya attempted to when Solange revealed that Jay-Z was having an affair with Beyonce. She probably thought she had resolved the matter. However, it didn't work out as planned, so she brought in the big guns and revealed that he had been cheating on Beyonce's their first encounter. Jay-Z then lost it all and got her blackballed. Prior to delving into the allegations of infidelity, Solange verified a number of facts about Jay-Z and Beyonce the public was unaware of. For example, she mentioned that the couple met when Beyonce was 15 or 16 years old, rather than 18, as is frequently stated in the media. In an interview with Charlie Rose in 2007, Jay-Z mentioned that he had met Beyonce 10 years prior, or in 1997. However, depending on the day of their meeting, Beyonce may have been 15 years old. These early days of Jay-Z's life have somehow been lost to the internet. Solange claims that one of the first people Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce with was singer Charlie Baltimore. If you were a fan of the streets back in the day, you've probably heard the rumors, Whoever was in his late 20s, 27 or 28 at the time, pursuing a 16-year-old Beyonce, is getting shady at least there are rumors circulating that Charlie and that Charlie and Jay-Z had an affair behind Beyonce's back. Previously, Charlie was in a relationship with Notorious Big, who was the first female artist signed to the Murder, Inc. label. Salons claim that just a few months into Jay-Z's relationship with Beyonce, he had an affair with Charlie. He began dating her, but eventually Charlie got tired of being the other woman, so she ended their relationship. It would have seemed that Jay-Z would stand by him, especially since he was dating Beyonce, but he didn't instead. He became envious when Charlie moved on with her partner, as you may recall. In an attempt to clear his name, Jay-Z claimed that the producer had been distributing bootleg copies of his previously unreleased album, Volume 3, The Life and Times of Elvis Carter, illegally. When the two ran into each other at a club, Jay-Z pulled out an eight-inch knife and stabbed the producer. Jay-Z was actually arrested for stabbing a man in a club. The other man, well, that was his story, but Ella's just called BS on it, saying that Jay-Z was jealous when he learned that Charlie was seeing a producer, which is why he got upset with Charlie for moving on when you're genuinely dating Beyonce. True, but Solange wasn't capping since rapper Cameron supported her and said that Charlie wasn't the victim of a stabbing because it wasn't about money or morality, rather. It was about a chick. You know who that is now, right? Should you believe that Charlie Vore's affair with Beyonce ended here, you should reconsider, as he was rumored to have begun seeing Aaliyah even prior to their public relationship. To make matters worse, his business partner and friend, Dame Dash, was also spotted allegedly eyeing Aaliyah at the time. Jay-Z does not lose, and according to Solange, he didn't back off. It's not just whispers either Jay-Z apparently had a big old crush on Aaliyah. If you were thinking that Jay-Z would have backed off since he was dating Beyonce and Dame had had eyes for Aaliyah, you clearly don't know Jay-Z at all. This isn't your typical school crush, rather. It was a full-fledged obsession that would cause you to sever friendships and partnerships, which is precisely what happened to Jay-Z today. His bromance with Dame Dash was shattered when the drama finally got to that point. Highlighted the cause of the fallout, asserting that Jay-Z's obsession with Aaliyah was so strong that it destroyed their relationship. Dame said that Jay-Z wanted her so much that he was unable to accept the fact that Aaliyah was dating someone other than him. Dame disclosed that he and Jay-Z were once friends but became rivals as a result of Jay-Z's intense obsession with Aaliyah, they knew each other was playing the same game, so they were both shooting their shots and knew that. As you can imagine, it didn't take long for jealousy to flare up, revealing those green eyes and putting them at odds. I kind of eased up until we ran into each other. Long story short, you and Jay were both breaking up with Leah, which meant that everyone was wasting their time and getting a Leah bro. She said something like, you know she'll go to dinner with, but she wasn't going to just be smashing, so it was like the big deal, like, who could get with Aaliyah, I understand what I'm saying, but this is where things get spicy. Aaliyah began to lean more toward W.S. Dame, and Jay-Z, being the competitive person that he is, 
was not having it. Fast forward to the devoted 4th of July celebration, where Aaliyah and Dame Dash decided to take things further, and Jay-Z, well, let's just say he found out. I'm concerning it, and he became enraged, saying, you know this is going to be hard for me. See, he was also saying, I might have a question since we're about Aya, and to ignore me if it's too much. He was throwing because his friends were laughing at him. Jaguar also supported Dame in this, saying that Jay-Z got his revenge by ruining Dame and selling the company out from under him simply because D got the girl. Do you think Art Kelly got really roaded, or is he there where he belongs? He looks at how he treated Dan, saying, I don't care if you wanted to get away from your homie or your partner, but to do it the way he did. That's malicious, but perhaps that was because he was the one who didn't want to stay in the relationship. I want you to. Just like with Charlie, Jay-Z vented his resentment at the other men for stealing his women, despite being with one of the most attractive women on the planet. Some may ask, Jay-Z, do you even realize what you have? But Solange claims that there were even more women, such as former Rockefeller artist Emil Whitehead, you may not be familiar with her, is the first female rapper signed to Rockefeller Records. She even accompanied him on his Hard Knock Life tour. You may recall her fondness for P. Alan Vodka. But what really made this whole thing possible? Uncertainty surrounds when and why the fair ended, but it sounds like it wasn't exactly up to Ale to end the relationship because in the meantime, Jay-Z had her in the studio recording songs with Beyonce while he and Emil were allegedly laying into each other, if you know what I mean. In an interview from 2011, it seemed as though she was somewhat fixated on Jay-Z. She stated, I haven't spoken to Jay in years, but I really wish I could talk to him because that would just really bring closure to me. But he knows I love him. She also claimed that people think that there was bad blood between us, but there never was any bad blood incidents occurred. And I wasn't prepared for the direction my career was taking at the time. It was really overwhelming. If you thought we were done with the affairs live listen, you might want to grab a chair and settle in, because there is a lot more to come. I promise that the list is lengthy.